Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it <coughs> is Sunday, guys, sorry. It's Sunday and it's around 4.15 and I'm going to start getting dinner ready. Now what I'm watching is, what I'm watching, what I'm making for dinner tonight is this pasta dish my husband sent me. He, he saw and he sent me it and I'm going to make it. I've made something like this before. It's um, a red sauce, a red meat sauce, like a marinara with, with meat, gravy, whatever you call it, um, <laughs> with um, al Alfredo sauce, baked um, with, with spaghetti with, um, mo and mozzarella on top, and you, put, and you bake it in the oven. Looks so amazing. And that's what we're going to do. Very simple, very quick. It'll be quick, and I have all the ingredients that I need for it, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to get an onion, cut up an onion. I already have some that I used for lunch today that I'm just going to utilize as well because I want to get, I want to use it up. So I'll just cut up this, and then I'll cut up a little bit more. So we like a little bit more onion. This is about half an onion. I have chopped meat left over. This is what I'm going to use, chopped meat. I have this mozzarella that I've had in there that I need to use up. I have this sauce here that I made the other day, um, last week, with marinara, and it has um, sausage in it and chopped meat in it anyway. So I'm, I'm going to just utilize this. If I need some more sauce, I have I have more cans over here that I can use. I have a, a plum tomatoes. I don't have any crushed tomatoes or any tomato sauce, which I'd rather put in this, but if I need more sauce, then I'll just crush it, crush up some of the, um, of those tomatoes. So we'll see. So let's cut this onion up, then we're going to get the garlic cut up, and we're going to get, um, the chopped meat in. Well, first we'll put the onions in, and, uh, we'll wait for the garlic. I might use this whole onion, I don't know. I'm going to make, like, a pound of, um pasta because I think my, my son will enjoy this meal. So I'm probably going to do a pound. Yeah. yeah I think that's enough onion. Anyway, that's good. So um, I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm taking the Dayquil, and that's really helping calm all these symptoms down. Um, uh, you know, this morning I felt a little fluish, like like body aches and stuff. I definitely feel better um, since I took the Dayquil. So I'm just going to continue taking it. It's loosening up the cough loosening up everything um, and bringing it out this way it doesn't get stuck in my chest which could be an issue <laughs> for me so yeah so we're doing that um, we had a very nice day me and hubby we sat outside on that at the, um, at the at the table outside it's a beautiful day today it's like 70 something degrees really really nice out the te temperature wise um, and we played backgammon. We had a backgammon tournament, which I won. Both, both. We played one tournament, and then we played like two other, two, two or three more games, and I won. So he's not very happy because I won. I'm, I'm a sore loser. So he better not be letting me win. I doubt it. But anyway, we had, we had fun, guys. We had, well, we had a lot of fun. Quiet, just us, just us and the puppies. We have actually have Brody. Where is Robro? Robro slept over. Where are you? Oh, we had Brody overnight because Julie um, went to uh, the beach today and she didn't want to leave Brody home all alone by himself because when he's home a lot by himself, he he's had accidents. So lately, he's been very, very defiant. I don't know. He never had accidents before ever. So um, he's doing it. Well, he's doing it once in a while. I think he's doing it for for attention, but who knows? So yes. Anyway, so she, she, she didn't want him to be alone, which I don't want him to be alone either for the whole day. So she, she um, was over here yesterday, so she left him here and he slept over. So Cooper's been having a ball. 
Um, okay, I'm going to salt the water because I have to boil the spaghetti. So I'm going to make a pound of the of the um, a pound of the pasta because there's two heavy hitters here, my son and my husband. And this is something. This this kind of meal. Oh shit! Well, that's it. This kind of meal. Oh shoot! Ah, really, Linda? This kind of meal, guys, will is good leftover and will be good for the, another night. If you know, if there's leftover, and my son, you know, um, will he likes his, this type of meal. Alexis, set the timer for four minutes. Four minutes starting now. <clears throat> I'm going to only. I'm going to cook this. Um, less than I would because um, it's going to bake in the oven and it's angel hair so I don't want it to overcook so I'll probably take it out just at four minutes because it definitely will cook a little bit more and I don't want it to be mushadi which is mushy in Italian <laughs> so um, what was I saying I forget I forget what I was saying. So yeah, let's get this boiled up. And this meal literally will take, it's four o'clock, we'll be eaten by 5.30. And it's probably gonna be done before that, but that's when uh, we'll definitely be eating by 5.15, 5.30. All right, let's put the chopped meat in. Whew. Never fails, never fails, Linda. This is dried up. Oh shit, I forgot to put the onions in. Sometimes I really wonder about myself. Ah, damn it, I wanted to put the onions in first. Cooper, what are you doing? Alright guys. This is what we're going to do. I want to cook the onions first. That's why I put the olive oil in there. I wouldn't have put olive oil in because it was chopped meat because it gives off, gives off a lot of um, grease. I'm a knucklehead. What are you going to do? I blame it on the cold. I blame it on the cold. Get the onions in. Cut up some garlic in a minute. So guys, it's coming, it's right around the corner. The shower is right around the corner. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. I'm all of the above. This week I have to do last minute stuff. I have to order the, the dessert. I have to, um, there's a couple things I have to do. I have to go and, um, and get some of the last minute items that I need for the pate. decided to make something um well, all right so i'm gonna cut up some garlic put that in <coughs> and then put the shot meat in done. I shut it off. I'm just going to leave it in there for a sec, couple of seconds. 
and then I'm going to drain it. I don't want it to, um, to overcook. So, yeah. Shot me back in. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to put the pasta right into the pan. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because that's what you got to do anyway. So I'm just going to put it right in there. Let this cook up. I gotta put the oven on in a minute, but I'm waiting for the last minute. And I don't want to heat up the house. I mean, just gonna heat it up, but we try to wait for the last minute. This only takes about 25 minutes, so it won't be too bad. And let's take the pasta out and put it right into the um I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna spray it a little bit. <coughs> sauce on the bottom. Now this sauce it has it has meat in it too and it has some sausage so but that's perfectly fine. Um I just add a little bit of water to this. Oh, there's a big piece of sausage. I'm not gonna put that big piece of sausage in. <clears throat> but I'll probably just cut it up. All right. <coughs> gonna make sure everything's good here. All right. Do you think a pound's enough? I would think so. One is really. Yeah, I know, but. I have any spaghetti in the um, refrigerator. <laughs> I'm wondering if my chewy's gonna have any when they come 
up when they come here. Let me, let me, let me do some investigating. All right, guys, I'm going to season it now. Some salt. I drained the oil out. I drained, I drained the grease out. Salt. Some pepper. I'm also, is this onion? This is onion. <coughs> onion. <coughs> Garlic. Got some basil. Some Italian seasoning, and some parsley. Here's parsley. I did make a little bit more uh, angel hair because I don't know if Julie's going to eat. So I just made a handful more. Because if they do, there won't be enough. Oh, i got to put the oven on. i to heat the oven up. Um, all right. I'll put the sauce in now. Alexa, stop. All right. Yeah, I think it needs more sauce. Definitely needs more sauce. I'm gonna shut this off. I'll be right back. Guys, there's a little trick I discovered a couple of months ago. Literally. Um, I need more sauce, right? And I didn't want to I don't want to open up those cans of sauce because they're mainly they're they are, they're whole tomatoes and I have to crush them and it's just a different consistency from a crushed tomato or a tomato sauce. So I learned this trick back couple months ago. I don't know why I just thought of it. Maybe it's it's not a trick. Maybe people do it and I just, I don't know, came up. I don't know. Anyway, um, I use a can of, of um, tomato paste. Okay, a whole can. And then what I do is I add hot water to it. And I had made, I didn't have sauce for, um, for mozzarella sticks and I had a can of tomato sauce, uh, the tomato paste. And I said, ooh, Maybe I can make a sauce out of that. And I tried it, and I made it, and it was so good. It was so good. 
So that's what I'm doing. I'm making um, a can of sauce. It would be like equal to a to a you know not a, not a big can, a, um, one of the the other medium sized cans of sauce. Now I'm seasoning it: garlic powder, onion powder, grated cheese. I'll put in it. Salt and pepper, pepper, Italian seasoning, salt, and it's the consistency of like a tomato sauce, tomato crushed tomatoes, because I definitely need more sauce in that, in that um, chopped meat gravy in the in the in the pasta dish itself definitely so we're going to turn this here so you can see mm. that is really good really good Some in here, and I'm gonna put some in the in the pasta itself. You put this back on. I shut it off for a few minutes because I didn't want it to get. I don't like the meat to get like hard and chewy and overcooked. You know, I'm always afraid of that. So yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so let's put the rest of the pasta in here. Like I said, I just made probably like a quarter of a pan or more. And this is, you know, like I said, this is something that if Julie doesn't eat it, like if Julie doesn't take any home or whatever, um, we'll eat on it all week. And my son, if he likes it, which I think he will, he'll eat on this all week too. Certain things that I know that I can make more of that won't be wasted. And when it comes to a dish like this, I'm pretty sure it will be eaten. All right, um, all right, this is, this is good. This is good here. I don't want this meat to cook anymore because it's gonna cook in the oven as well. So let's shut this off. Let's put this over here, that's okay. The oven's heating up. So what it says is to put the Alfredo sauce in first. So I have one jar of Alfredo it says you could put more in if you'd like. I mean, I have a little over a pound of pasta, so I mean, if I had, I might. I'll see how the um, I'll see how the ratio is. But it says just to pour it pasta. It says just to pour it on top. It doesn't say to mix it. I think what I'm gonna do is give me a second. I'm gonna put a little bit of 
half and half in here. Probably about a quarter of a cup, which was left. Do that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of butter. Uh, some grated cheese. cheese, Italian seasoning, some salt, some pepper, some onion, this is garlic, some onion, because it has to be seasoned, guys. Some onion. And some parsley. Oh, that was. That was parsley, wasn't it? Oh, no, that was Italian. That was Italian seasoning. Uh, where's the parsley? Let's put a little parsley. I'm going to shake this up. Just because I think it needs some more. I think it needs more, um... Um, Alfredo. So. Give it a shake. I might not use this all, guys. I'm going to put the light on. I'm just going to use a little bit. It's kind of loose, but... Alright, I think that's good. Yep, perfect. And I have this to use for something else. So that's what we'll do. Out. All, right. All right, so then it says to put this over it, meat sauce. I hope this pan's going to be big enough. Mm, that's good, guys. This is gonna be yummy. And then mozzarella goes on top. But I'm gonna, I, I got news for you. I'm gonna bake it like 15 minutes and then I will put the mozzarella on the, at the last minute. I don't think it, it should go on yet. I'm going to let it be. <coughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this is gonna be good. This is, this is a lot, but. All right. Let me do something here. Cause I really don't need a mess in my oven. I got enough messes to clean up right now, guys. There we go. Look at that shit. <laughs> Look at it. All right, so while this is baking, so even if it does leak a little bit, it will go onto the pan. While this is baking, I'm gonna put, I'll do these, I'll shred the cheese. I think that's it, right? I just wrote it down, pasta, Alfredo meat sauce, 350. Oh, why do I have it at 380? I said 380 instead of 350. All right. Woo! Alexa, set the timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. All right, Sorry guys. Now. Oh, I wanted to put some more sauce, but I don't think I need it. I got enough sauce. Right? I think so. All right, let me um, straighten up here quick. Clean up my mess a little bit, and then I'll shred the cheese. And then we'll get, this is gonna be really good. I'm excited about this meal. I'm excited about this meal. Be back. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna put this back in. But I wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce. I'm gonna put the rest of the gravy, the rest of the sauce on it. Marinara gravy, whatever the heck it is. It's gonna be, it's really gonna be tight here. But it definitely needs it to dry. So, the rest of it is going on. Julie eats here. She's going to have to taste some home. <laughs> Alexa, how much longer on the timer? Alexa, how much longer on the timer? You have two minutes and 30 seconds left on your 15 minute timer. All right, I'll put this on now. I shredded the cheese up. a lot of people like this would like if you made this is like a pound and a quarter a pound and a quarter of angel's hair pasta it's like i would say two two to two and a half pounds of meat so you could feed probably i would say at least five six people on this maybe even more depends on if they're heavy hitters or not kids yeah you could feed probably four kids and or adults and um, you could feed could probably feed four or five six adults I would definitely think this is a good meal to, to, to do um to do when you're having like a pate birthday party, uh, anything. I 
got news for you. If we don't eat it, I'll freeze it. Like, if we don't eat it all. Because I'm definitely not going to let this whole thing go to waste. It definitely got bigger than what I thought it would be, but... That's it. All right, guys. Let's get this back in. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Alexa, stop. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. All right. I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, ready? <laughs> I'm telling you. Even though I have a cold, ow, I just burnt myself. Even though I have a cold, it really wasn't, it didn't take a lot out of me to make this. It was very simple. Really, it really didn't. So, I'm sure everybody's going to say, Linda, why are you making such a big meal when you're sick and everything else? It's fine, guys. It was really, literally very simple. You saw how I made it. And guess what? I'm going to be sharing. <laughs> I already told Julie that I'm going to bring put some in a container for her. Because they didn't even leave the beach yet. So she probably won't be home. She probably won't be here till 10, 11 o'clock. We'll see. Anyway, I know my son's going to love this. My hubby's going to love it. I'm going to let it sit five minutes. And then we're going to eat. I did most of the dishes. I don't know if you saw my other video I put up there. But I picked my all I mostly most of my cherry tomatoes and some plum tomatoes that were, you know, there. This is a regular tomato. I don't know what's going to happen with it. It's, gonna, it's not going to really grow, but maybe it'll get red. So I got all these cherry tomatoes here. There's still more on the vines. I just haven't taken them all off yet. <coughs> I got two peppers. These are the only, I got two, I got three peppers actually. I got these two and then there was a smaller one that I ate, we ate the other day, I added it to a dish. And these is, this is, looks like, looked like there was the biggest they were gonna get. <clears throat> I might get more peppers still. The plant's still there, it still has buds on it. So who knows? But I figured um, I'll use them. Whatever it is, I'll use them. So I have these two peppers. And then, whoops. And then these tomatoes right here. Like by tomorrow, I can put on, Probably today I could even use them. Getting nice and uh, I noticed a couple that I cut were a little bit weren't done yet. So yeah, um, so I'm just waiting an extra day or two. But yeah, these and then <coughs> where are my other ones? Oh. Here are more that I added to. I took off some more big ones because they were just hiding in there. But they have a little bit of red in them already. I have this banana. I got I to got, I get a new banana because this banana is on its way out. It's perfect for this, though. So I have this plum tomato. That's good. This one's red. This one's starting to get red. So, yeah. So these um, these probably in, in about three or four days to a week, not even, will be red. So I'll get some away. We'll have some, obviously. Whatever's left out there, I'll still harvest in here. Um, so whatever I have left probably out there. <coughs> oh my god. Don't mind me guys, it's just me being a disaster. Yeah, just me being a disaster. Dropping things, knocking things over. That's just me. That's what you'll find here on Create with Linda. Um between these and um the ones out there, um I'll definitely have some to, to freeze. I definitely want to take a good two or three containers if, if I can and freeze some big ones. If I can, I can. If we utilize them, we eat them. That's all I care about. I don't care. I'll, you know, as long as they're used. But um, I would like to 
put some away for the winter and fall, but I don't have that many, I think, that I could do that with. But whatever it is, even if it's a, even if it's a jar, you know what I mean? I'll put, it, I'll put it away. So we'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, I'm excited. Love doing this. Love it, love it, love it. I'm excited for next year. Here's a tomato. So, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to get our plates, guys, and then I'll be back with my plates. I it looks so good. All right, guys, so here it is. <coughs> it's delicious. Mm. The only thing that I wish I did was loaded it more with, with Alfredo. The Alfredo, like, soaked in, and it's on the sides a lot, but Billy suggested, which he was really, was a very good idea, was having Alfredo on the side and, like, putting it on top afterwards. I just like the, I just like the Alfredo, but it's delicious. It's not dry, and you could always add a little bit more sauce if you want. There was a lot of pasta here, so I guess it soaked it up, but it's really good. I, I'm going to, I tasted it. It's delicious. So really, guys, if you want the recipe, let me know. I'll put it down below, but let me know, and, and if you definitely want it, I will definitely put it down below for you guys, and maybe I'll do it anyway. Very simple recipe anyway, so I, I'll probably do it anyway. Yeah, I said anyway three times. But anyway, four times. Um, I'm going to go now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow. I do appreciate you guys. Um, I like and share and comment down below. And don't... For, where are you going? We're feeling our first um, did, I, did I put it in the... In the I, I left it in the jar in the... Um, in the refrigerator, take it out and put it in like that one of those glass bowls up in the cabinet and put it in the microwave for like two minutes. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so comment down below. Um, thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and um, creating. I love you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Um, I'm going to just taste it for you guys. See, I'll show you. It's not dry, but I... We, it's not dry, but no. we, no, I'm talking, I'm talking, but we like it, um, we, we tend to like a little bit more of a saucy kind of thing. Uh, it's really good, but it definitely needs Alfredo, more Alfredo on top, but it's really, really good. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.